So, um, as I say, we're going to make that this tonight. So, Simply Cook, if you don't know what Simply Cook is, it's a subscription box service, although they do sell some of these now in the supermarkets uh, in the UK. If you want to go on my link tree and where it says um, Simply Cook, you can get four of different recipes with free delivery um, for free. So you can try four of these completely free of charge. Um, if you do it through their website, it's like two or three pounds um, for, their, for your first box. So it is a subscription, so make sure you cancel if you don't want them every month. Um, but they do change the recipes and that I like to come live and show you. So if you watch us on YouTube and want to give it a try, go on to linktr.ee forward slash Aiden Leeds, spell A-I-D-E-N-L-E-E-D-S, and follow, find the link where it says Simply Cook. Okay, so let's make a start. Uh, so for this recipe, what you're going to need, uh, you're going to need three chicken thigh fillets, uh, but if you're doing it for four portions, you want to double that up. So I've got here four portions, not four portions of chicken, four not chicken thighs, because they're quite small, you see. So I'm going to chop them up in a moment. Uh, it does ask for an aubergine, so I don't have an aubergine. So uh, there was something else I was going to use instead of that, a courgette. I'm just going to wonder if, if I've got a courgette in the fridge. So bear me just one moment, because I might actually have one. Otherwise, I might have binned it, I'm not sure. Oh, and look what I've got. I think that's, an, I think that's a courgette, unless that's a cucumber, I'm not sure. Bear me just a moment, guys. That might actually be a, a cucumber, grown cucumber. Just bear with me one moment, guys, because I did. Obviously, I was doing this last week, and I've just realised that could be the cucumber, and think it was an aubergine. Bear with me a second. Yeah, they're cucumbers, guys. So we can't, we don't have any courgettes. So obviously, if you are using, if you are making this recipe and you've got courgette, use courgette. Uh, hey, Chris, how are you doing? <laughs> now, Chris has signed up for Saturday. So yeah, you call them zucchini, zucchini. So Chris is Chris is actually doing uh, Hat Saturday with us all now from. He's going to be on at 10 o'clock after Alexis, okay? So I'll post all the details up probably on Thursday, just to make everything, like, final confirmation everything. So we're really looking forward to Saturday. All right, so let's get... So, yeah, if you've got an aubergine, you'll need half an aubergine anyway, so you don't need much or, um, or half a courgette. Uh, we've got some coconut milk. We've got some coconut milk that we may be using. Can you all see that? Coconut milk. Uh, we've got some jasmine rice. Love jasmine rice. You see me use a lot of jasmine rice. Uh, and then you're going to need a pepper. Now, if you saw me doing the pizza earlier, we used half a green pepper. So I'm going to use the rest of the green pepper. And then I've also got a yellow pepper as well. So uh, can you run out and get one? No, <laughs> it's a bit late, Dean. It's a bit late. Otherwise, I'll be, I'll be on here an hour. Um, so um, and then if you've got basil, you need a lime as well. Let's get some limes. Get a nice lime. Got some limes here, so that's usually just used at the end. Okay, so we've got a nice lime. Uh, you can chop the peppers small. Yes, yeah, I can cut them a bit smaller. So, um, so that's pretty much it, guys. So what we're gonna do, and then obviously you got the flavor pot. So let's see what's inside these flavor pots. What we're gonna be using. So it says on the side, unleash the flavor. Unleash the flavor. So let's get these open. I love Simply Cook. I just it's a great starting point and it does change your the meal completely i just wish you could get them in the states so this is a thai green gar garnish thai green garnish the only problem is they send them in plastic so that's the only problem if they were in little cardboard boxes i mean you can't obviously do that with little sauces but what's this we've got a thai green paste so these are the kind of key ingredients that you need to make this dish what it is and then we've got some garlic coconut paste, garlic coconut paste. 
So um, it says, are you making the curry with chicken? Yes, Dina, we're making it with chicken. We're going to be using uh, chicken thighs. But if you want a healthier option, use chicken breast. And if you want even healthier option, use... Um, well, there's no actual other option, but you could use you could swap the chicken for prawns or beef. So I guess if you're vegetarian, you could eat prawns. If you're vegan, I don't know what you could. Maybe tofu. Maybe you want to try it with tofu. I'm not sure. If you've got any other options, then um, pop in the chat what you might have it with instead of meat. Uh, and if you don't want to use light coconut milk, swap it for full fat milk. Don't know whether would make it more. Or oh, jackfruit. Yeah, that's a good idea, Melanie. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want to swap uh, chicken or any meat, use jackfruit. OK, um, also add some basil if you've got any basil as extra. Um, all right. So let's get, let's get started. then. so first thing we're going to do is cook the rice. Now, it says you need 120 grams of jasmine rice. I'm just going to put my pan on to start to boil. So a little tip for you all is I just put a little bit of cold water in just so it doesn't burn the pan. And then I put that on. And then if I need any hot water quickly, well, actually, I'm gonna, I think it's all, it needs to be boiling water. So I'm going to put the kettle on um, and it will boil quicker, really quickly. So let's put that on. OK, so um, so we're going to cook the 120 grams of jasmine rice. So let's weigh out this. Uh, let me get the plate. And then this is going to go straight into the pan. So I do love jasmine rice. I've just all of a sudden got a really uh, um, dicky, dicky stomach. I don't know why. I'm trying to think why. I know I had that pizza, but it's not the pizza. Because if you get a really bad stomach, it's not that it usually is something you ate 12 hours ago or longer than 12 hours ago. It's never something that you've eaten within, like, within the day itself. So if you ever get stomach cramps or any pain, it's because of the food you ate the day before. Nothing to do with the day food that you've ate on the day. So oh, would it help if I put my scales on? But yeah, just just a little odd feeling there. <laughs> Don't know why. So 120 grams of jasmine rice. Let me just weigh this out. Well, you can't see this, but you don't really need to see rice. You want to see me? Oh my gosh, I wish I should have put this in a cereal bowl now. It's gonna go over. Should do this in stages, so. Did I tell you about my other weighing scales? Hello Jay, how are you doing? Great, I loved your food by the way. If you've not watched Jay's broadcast, go and watch it because he's made some really nice chicken. I've just weighed 100 and then I'm going to weigh out another 20. In fact, let me just get it in. So 100, 100 grams of jasmine rice. <laughs> Let's just pop that in there and then I'll weigh out another 20 grams. While it starts to boil. I missed the second part, Jay. I couldn't. I didn't watch the second part. I came out of your broadcast. I started watching my own broadcast for some reason. Like you do, you just sit there watching and you get, you get absorbed into... But you do, you think, well, is the connection okay? And is, it in, is the camera in, a, in the best position? You know, are you happy with my broadcast? You know. I always make too much rice. Do you ever find that you make a bit too much rice? I feel like I've just used the whole, well, yeah, it's 500 grams of rice there, and I've used it a few times. So, how oh, did it die? Oh, Jay. Never mind. Right, so I need to weigh out this the exact amount of um, rice, not the rice, uh, water for the rice. Did I read the instructions last time? Let me have a look. So you need 70 grams of rice per person. So I've just done 120, so a bit less. It takes 10 to 12 minutes, yeah. And why didn't it tell me how much water to put in? Rinse the rice in cold water. Well, we've just done that. Uh, bring double the amount of water to the boil. So you need 240. 240. I still can't find that jug, you know. You know that jug that I said? I don't even know where I put it. Isn't that weird? What did I do with that jug? Maybe I put it somewhere and I can't, not found it. Oh, wait, there it is here. Oh. 
I've got another jug. So, ah, it's here. It was right at the top of my cupboard. Jay, we share the same jug. Look, look what I see, Melanie. P R Y R E X. What does it spell? <laughs> right, so two hundred forty. What am I doing? Running cold water for? I've just boiled loads of water. Oh dear. I'm loose. If my head, my head's not screwed on today. And you're probably all thinking it's never screwed on. So two hundred and forty grams is enough. It's starting to boil. Remember, I did put a little bit of water in there as well. So in that goes. We're just going to quickly stir this. Yeah, Pyrex. Oh, excuse me. We're twenty-two pounds off, guys. Come on, let's have one big push. Obviously, you don't you don't have to donate. It's not compulsory, but you know that Melanie got some Pyrex delivered to the UK, and uh, after the year, two years that we've had, you know, and Melanie is still shielding. Uh, if you want to uh, donate towards the cost of the delivery of the Pyrex, the link's in my bio. There's a link on my profile as well. So. Uh, 22 pounds off. Let's try and smash it um, if you can do, but you're under no obligation to donate whatsoever. So I so say we're up to 30 pounds so far, which is amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put the lid over the, the rice. Okay, I'm going to move my steamer pots out of the way. I'm making so much noise today. Put my scales away and we're going to put on the, the pan. So I'm going to spin you around. Fingers crossed it doesn't go off because what we need to do next is heat a little oil in a pan and we're going to fry the chicken and the aubergine but there's one thing I haven't done yet and that is to cut the chicken up so let's add a little bit of oil I'll spin you around in a second let's get this nice and hot okay I'm going to spin you around let me know if the connection's okay please all right guys I'll be a second now you know I don't usually have it in this position for a while oh it says great connection for once going on there so we've got our nice chicken thighs here and we're gonna get I use these these are really old-fashioned scissors they're what's called meat scissors I actually never know what the this part's for if you do know what this part's for do let me know so I'm gonna cut the chicken up my hands clean so I'm just gonna cut this using the scissors I'm gonna cut this into the dish let me know how the connection is the worst thing is when it goes in and out all the time. Obviously, if you've got chicken breast, use chicken breast because that's healthier. They always say use chicken thighs, but I've got loads of chicken thighs to use up. Um, so Melanie's undoing tops off bottles. What are you do? What's that for, Melanie? What's that for? Is that for the? Saving the tops. I used to know somebody that saved the tops of bottles. They used to save them up and then they would donate them, them to schools so they could get vouchers or something. I think that's right. Would help if my pan was on, wouldn't it? I'm using them over hand, so that's good. So, do you not have any of these scissors? Has anyone seen Die lately, Orvon? No, I've not heard of her for a while. Is really strange. Um, I can get in contact on Twitter, so hopefully everything's okay. So I'm just cutting the chicken up. The pan's on now, so um, okay. Is the connection okay? Can someone just say if the connection's okay? That's the biggest, the biggest anxiety I have. It's not about. I'm, I'm pretty confident when I'm broadcasting, but there's no point me, you know, being confident if when the connection's not as great. So I do ask, and I know it can be a bit of a pain. It says my connection's great, and then it keeps saying it's poor. So, yeah, it's, it's always like that as well. Yeah, you're totally right, Jay, on that front. doesn't matter what live streaming site you use. People will come off for a bit and join and come back out, you know. As I say, I think maybe from maybe September onwards, I might. We'll still be doing the hat Saturday, don't get me wrong. But I might just have a little break from, uh, from hats. Or just stick to one thing and 
maybe do one broadcast a week or something. I do love it, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stop. But it's, it'll be nice just to have a little break. So, I think that's all chopped up. So, I'll just quickly wash my hands. <laughs> Jay, how is it you can tag people in your in the chat in the comments? I can't tag people. Maybe it's uh, are you on a you're not on iPhone, are you? Well, I think you might be on Android. Okay, so what we're gonna do then? Once the pan's nice and hot, we're going to add the chicken, and if you've got aubergine, use aubergine. So let's get the chicken in. Okay. <laughs> raw plate, Jay. Raw plate. Make sure you put it in the sink. All right, so it's going to just, you see that oil, nice and hot oil, just mix it in. Don't have to mix it in the pan and it will all start to then simmer away. So if you're doing aubergine, use aubergine as well. Okay. So we're going to wait until this is cooked for three minutes before we add the next step. Okay. <laughs> yeah, people do have lives. And this is the thing as well, like me and uh, my friend Caroline when we were doing live streams. Um, you forget that the last 12 months or two years, a lot of people have been coming online because we've had no choice. And now more and more people can go out and do the things they did before. So it's like cooking as well. You know, how many people maybe used to go out to a restaurant before they started learning to cook? Because not only were the people who had to cook at home, there was people who were forced to learn to cook at home, and therefore they would end up watching broadcasts like this. So, um, you asked me what the middle bit was for. It's for removing bottle tops. Ah, yes. Is it really? Are you joking? I never knew that. I've just been mind blown. <laughs> I remember. Not, I actually thought it was for cutting, say, like sausages or something. No, is it really? Oh my god, I never knew that. So yeah, you put it on the bottle top and then twist. I never knew that, Melanie. I'm not lying to you. I never knew that. Well, there we go. I've learnt just something new for the day. <laughs> So we're just going to cook the chicken for two more minutes. It's gone really dark in this kitchen. Should I put the light on? There you go. It's a lot better, isn't it? I'm not going to move the tripod or anything unless you say it keeps going in and out. I'll then move it. But if we're good, we're going to let that cook for three minutes. What we're going to do then is we're going to add some garlic coconut paste. So garlic coconut paste. And then we're going to mix it well. And then we're going to add in the Thai green paste, fry it for a minute, and then we add the pepper moment. So you all know you've seen me do peppers before. Uh, also, guys, don't forget, save your avocado seeds because we're going to be making avocado tea.
right now. No sound. Can you hear me now? I don't understand that sometimes. Because I have my phone in the same place on other platforms and it's totally fine. So there's definitely an issue with that. It does come in and out sometimes. Can everybody hear me now? And I'll try and spin you back round. Yeah, you can all hear me. Right, so I've just browned the uh, chicken. Well, I'll cook the chicken. So I'm going to spin you back round again. And we'll see. We'll go with it and see what happens, okay? Fingers crossed. It stays okay. Fingers crossed. So there's still a bit of chicken still left to cook. Okay, so it's been in there for three minutes. We're now going to add, we're going to add the garlic coconut paste. So garlic coconut paste. Okay. So this is what garlic coconut paste looks like. And we're going to get a little teaspoon. Just make sure some of that chicken is cooking. And we're going to add this in. Make sure you get it all out. And we're going to mix this in. It says mix well. Into the chicken. It smells really nice. Just hope you can see it okay. Are we all are we good now, Melanie? Let me know if we're good. So we've added the garlic coconut paste and we're gonna stir in the Thai green paste and then we're gonna fry it for a minute. So we're gonna next add in the Thai green paste. Yep, yeah, thanks Melanie. So we're gonna add a Thai green paste now to this. You probably see these on TV, Melanie, because they're always advertising on the TV, aren't they, Simply Cook? I bet you say, oh, that's what Aiden does. <laughs> so we're going to add this in and we're going to fry this for a minute into the pan. Mix it in with the, uh, the chicken. So it's got a really nice smell to it. I think my jasmine rice is cooked. Yeah, because that doesn't take long. So I'm going to turn the jasmine rice off. Put that to one side. Lid over it. We're going to mix all this in. So we'll let that fry for a minute, as I say. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add in the peppers. So let's add in the peppers. So I've got some yellow pepper going in here. I don't want to chop it up, it's really small. So let's add these in. I've got some green peppers from earlier going in here as well. Up a little bit smaller. Just as roughly chopped. You don't need to cut them into cubes or anything, but I'm going to add the peppers in just like that. Obviously, make sure your chicken is cooked so there's no pink bits. Okay. What do we think so far, everybody? What do we think so far? Can you all you can all see that, can't you? Okay, so we have the peppers to the pan and then we're going to add the coconut milk. So you want 400 milliliters of coconut milk. Yep, I've got exactly 400. Just make, fry off your peppers a little bit longer if you want. Just want to make sure that chicken's cooked. Before I add the coconut milk. So, there we go, I'll just try and move out the light. Check all that chickens. Yep, yeah, chicken looks good. It smells really nice. It smells really nice. So we're gonna add the coconut milk. We're gonna add the coconut milk. 
in it goes just like that and then it says to turn turn the heat down we need to turn the heat down so some people might think the peppers are not cooked you don't always have to have boiled peppers but we're just gonna just stir that they will simmer down anyway in the coconut milk so just give it a little bit of a stir it smells really nice can you all see that bit of a are we got are we good guys it says it's gone poor now so it's going to mix all that in and then we're going to stir in the Thai green garnish. So we're going to add in Thai green garnish. So let's add this in. So in goes the Thai green gar garnish. Look at that, everyone. Oh, yes. And that is it. The only thing we we'll need to do now is, is add, make sure this simmers, because we need to let this simmer. Basically, like, just meat in coconut milk isn't it that's basically all it is but it's to smell nice let's turn the heat back up a little bit because i think i've turned it down too much are we good guys can you all hear me melanie says yes they look good okay thanks melanie um so yeah we just need to let it simmer now for four to six minutes So four to six minutes. I could break. What do we think? I'm just going to check on the rice. So I turn that off. So I'm going to fluff up the rice just to make sure it doesn't burn the pan. So look at that jasmine rice. Looks yummy. Thanks, Melanie. Even by putting just a looks yummy or a thumbs up, it just means that you're still there. Because <laughs> I never know who's... Who's watching me? Jasmine rice looks nice. Look. Right, so I'm going to put the lid over the top. I'm going to let this simmer. As I say, if I had courgettes and or or aubergine, I would add that in there as well. Um, but yeah, that, that is how simple it is. It's not too difficult. I don't think that's too difficult. Uh, I'm just going to cut a lime. So a little tip for you when it comes to limes. Hey, Anne, how are you doing? I came in your broadcast at the beginning and then I and then Jay was on. So I ended up, I started watching Jay as well at the same time. And then, um, then I come live, you see. So I was like, I missed your broadcast, but I will watch it on the replay. So I know Swift Beats was doing some music so in the background. So that's the green curry. So what we do is roll the Can you hear me now, guys? Are we good? Don't know if you can see me or hear me, but let me know when the sound's back on. Sounds good? Okay. Um, right, so yeah, three chicken thighs. I use four. Um, 
we didn't have any aubergine, so I've used, didn't, I didn't use any aubergine, but you can use aubergine or courgette. Um, we did 120 grams of jasmine rice. We doubled the amount of boiling water, so it's double the amount of water. Okay, we used a green pepper and a yellow pepper. Um, we heated the oil in a pan. We did fried the chicken and, and you would add the aubergine. We added garlic coconut paste and we mixed that in. We stirred in the Thai green paste and we fried that for a minute and then added the peppers to the pan. And then we added coconut milk. Thanks, Mel Thanks Molly. Um, and then we turned the heat down. We've added, we've added Thai green garnish and we cooked for five. And we're just leaving it to cook now for five to six minutes. Oh, this looks really, really good. Yeah. And it's just died raining outside as well. <laughs> so we're nearly ready. This looks, oh my God, this looks really nice. I'm not bothered about having sort of raw, no, they're not raw, raw peppers. You know what I mean? They're sort of in between being softened and, you know, really hard. Um, and then what we've got is if you're going to use basil, you can use a bit of basil on the top. And we're going to squeeze over some lime. So here are the alternatives. If you don't want to use chicken, use prawns or beef. Um, if you don't want to use aubergine, did I say aubergine? If you don't want to use chicken, use prawns or beef. If you don't want to use aubergines, use courgette. And you can use light coconut milk instead of full fat coconut milk. Um, making it milder by going easy on the Thai green garnish. It says top this off with fresh basil if you can. You can source Thai holy basil from Asian supermarkets, but regular basil is great. So is that okay for everybody? Hopefully uh, you can maybe find some of these ingredients. I'm just checking the chicken's cooked. It looks cooked to me. Just cause, but you've got to be careful with chicken, especially chicken wings as well. So, right, what I'm going to do then, we're just going to serve. Hopefully the signal's going to be okay. So the best thing I can do is I will get my bowls, some bowls out. And I will, you might see some mess, but I apologise for that. So hopefully, can you all see that, everybody? You see my kitchen from a different angle. You don't usually ever get to see that. There's my toaster. There's the coffee machine. So... a lot of rice here maybe i've done a bit too much okay so i'll pop that to one side oh need the spoon and we're gonna now add i have to turn this off it's still simmering away we're gonna add the curry now to this to the dish so here we go look at this guys I probably would use chicken breast. Let me just add it all over. Look at that, guys. So, plenty of chicken there, plenty of, of the coconut sauce. Okay, so that's one. That's one done. I'm just going to do the second one. And then we're going to squeeze it with some lime. And instead of basil, I might add a little bit of coriander on the top instead of basil. I don't think I've got any, I've got some coriander or parsley from my uh, my herbs that I'm growing. This looks really good. Sorry to make you all jealous, everyone. It's that coconut milk that I want. And all that flavours because it goes right in, into the rice. You see, that's what I like about it. everyone a little bit more okay 
Okay, so that's, and then we're going to squeeze some lime juice. I'm just going to empty the rest of this out so it all falls over. I don't want it to burn, you see. Might be a second, guys. It's very, very hot, as you can imagine. Extremely hot. It's got all that flavour in, you see, in the, in the, in the sauce. Don't want to waste any of it. There we go, guys. So, thank you so much. Thanks for everyone coming into the broadcast. I'm going to squeeze a bit of lime juice. That's what it looks like. Squeeze a bit of lime juice on the top. Let's just do the other one. Okay. So there we have it, guys. Sorry about the internet problems, the connection. I can't help that all the time. But what I will do now is just lift you up and I'll switch the camera around. Turn this up a second. Unplug my phone. Try not to burn the wire. Done that before. So here's the food, everyone. This is how it should look, obviously, without red peppers. I could put a bit of basil on there. You've got the rice, your chicken, and it's your Thai green curry. I never read that plate at the beginning, so so there we go, guys. So thanks so much for coming in. It froze, but you're back. I'm back now. I'm back. So <laughs> thanks, Jay. So I'm off to go and eat this now, everybody. So thanks, everybody. I'll see you possibly tomorrow. Um, maybe doing pork steaks tomorrow. I'm not sure. Or we'll do something else. So thanks for watching, guys. Love you all. Thanks for all your awards. See you soon, guys.